question the witness, Mr. Wright. I'll find out the truth, no matter how well you craft your lies. Let's see. 6 p. Uh, past 6 p.m. Yes. <clears throat> um, banana. We, it was not a banana. It was a glove. So let's uh, present the glove. Mr. Wellington, I believe I have bananas you saw right here. Ah, so you knew about the bananas too. Why wouldn't did you say so earlier? Huh. But don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's why you'd be wrong. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Huh? What, a baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? That's... That's not... That's not a... No! Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness... <laughs> oh, you're gonna see a lot more worse things than this. So yeah, let's just go with straight for it. I want to get a start in the next case ASAP. By the way, just how bad are your eyes? Huh? How what you... Why are you asking me that about this all of a sudden? Your Honor, it's very simple. Mistake, mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled. You, 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 you're one of those people. Yes, you know what I mean. You're like one of those... Yeah, I'm not gonna even try and do this. And that is why I ask you how bad your eyesight is. They're both... They're both 2200. I suppose you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? Why are you not wearing your glasses today, then? Um, that's because I lost them recently, you see. Of course, I was planning on getting a new pair made right away. But you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so I had to replace them. How about when you witnessed a crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? How about it, witness? You, you are an unrelenting evil man. You are like those people who rejected John of Arc. And... Which boils down to you were not wearing your glasses at the time. Therefore, the identity of the woman at the scene of the crime and the defendant cannot be proven by the, uh, to be the same by this witness. But the height difference is only nine feet. It is very possible for him to see the face of the culprit standing on the upper path. Hmm. Witness, please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake. Yes, your honor. Mm. Now then, please continue with your testimony. And please tell the court what happened next in the moment after you witnessed the crime. The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been 6.45 when I made the call. Huh. They must have a lot of free time on their hands as they showed up within 10 minutes. <laughs> hmm. So the person who was in the upper path saw you and then ran away. Yes, that is good, correct. Which is why even someone without superior brain like mine can understand that the girl is the murderer. You may question a witness now, Mr. Wright. So, 6.45, huh? We already know that this is false. Uh, present. So we have this uh, camera here. Din, din, din. Oh, it wasn't that. Okay, never mind then. Ah, 
how do you know that what the time was? The detective told me. You know which one I mean. The one with the jacket that makes him look like a dropout from a no-name high school. Hey, pal! I graduated from a pretty good, I mean, top-ranked college! I don't believe this. It doesn't matter. I don't believe I was, was mistaken on what time I called. <laughs> and if I'm wrong, then that detective obviously doesn't know how to tell the time. What? Why, you, you're just some lousy kid who... I think the court can see your point anyway. How did the police respond? Um... Wait a minute. There's a there's a 15 minute gap here. She ran away just like that? Yes, she did. She saw me and flew like to the, to the nest like the guilty bird she is. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that a pun too hard for someone with who only got a third rate education? Uh, yeah, I know that. They can just sort off. Actually, that did take me a few seconds to get. Anyway, if she ran over the instant she saw you, how could you tell him she was my client? The witness has already answered that question. He stated that the defendant is the culprit. This is true, Mr. Wright. I'm striking your question from the record. Hmm. How can I get more information out of him? That is fine, Mina. Immediately, as in? As in immediately, I mean, sure, I mean, it might have elapsed before I did, but that's the duty of every good citizen. No, did they not teach you that in your pitiful school? You think people learn about how to call the police in college? Hey, Nick. I think you should take a look at the rock, uh, court record for a second. Nope, no, no. There we go. This is the one for the time being. Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. There is clearly a 15 minute gap here, do you deny it? I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this these, uh, 15 minutes gap. So, I previously said that the, uh, tes like the, the testimony music is, the, I think, among the best in the series. I also think that the objection song is the weakest in the series. Uh. The witness was in shock at the time of witnessing a terrible murder. It is only to be expected that he will be a little dazed. Fifteen minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Ah! Mr. Wellington. Yay! Explain yourself. What were you doing there in those 15 minutes? Answer the question. I, uh, uh, telephone. Uh, I mean, spit it out. I, I was searching for a phone booth. A phone booth? You mean you don't have a cell phone? Questions as if you tried to open all the layers of of a um, Matryoshka doll. You must think you're really something special. Witness, I lost my cell phone. There, are you happy? You lost it, Matryoshka. Okay. Unbelievable! You lose your glasses and your cell phone. You must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What? Are you saying that first-rate people are never allowed to lose things? Have you heard of the genius of... Yeah, I'm gonna try that again. A 
enough. Oh man, oh man. Wait, hold on a second. He, he lost his cell phone? Nick, that cell phone, could it be? You mean the cell phone Maggie found? There's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? Mr. Wellington, where's your cell phone right now? <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my cell phone. I'll have you know. See, here it is. Oh, I see. Huh. Looks like he's got his phone. I thought that just... Uh, that maybe... This was his. Huh. Well then, I think we'll clear this issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by a search for a phone booth. Well, that's the gist of it. I guess we could have uh, put it that way and leave it at that. Do you have any further questions, Mr. Wright? Uh, there is something. Your Honor, the witness testimony does not make any sense. I don't believe there was ever a need for the witness to search for a phone. How dare you! You can't just make outrageous claims like that. You have to have some sort of proof, don't you? Well, yeah, uh, of course. This evidence should be good enough, I think. Alright, let's have this proof then. Please present proof that the witness did, need to, did not need to search for a uh, to search for a public phone booth. It is quite simple, actually. Take a look at this. The crime scene portal? Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at it, something's wrong with you. No! It's... it's... It's a phone booth. That is correct. All the defendants had to do was walk these walk three steps. But Mr. Wellington, why didn't you use the phone that was right in front of you? Order, order. What does reporting the crime on a late prove to the defense? The witness can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes. That is reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony. Yes, this is true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? It is. Like, you can always call emergency services from anywhere. Like, if you have a phone and it has, it has connection, you can call emergency services with it. Then I bet this phone really is his neck. He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. But Maggie said she was going to return it to him. So there was no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, we still have the phone she found anyway. Hmm. But if he wasn't looking for a cell phone, maybe he was looking for something else. Was he? Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any thoughts that you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation to what the witness was doing those during those times? Those 15 minutes? Yes, I have an idea. There's only one possible explanation. Alright, let's hear your explanation. However, be forewarned that if your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalized. Think carefully before you present, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Uh. I probably should have said there was only one possibility. Why didn't the witness call the, the phone right away? Um. Yeah, this, that's the one I'm thinking of as well. So it's either this one or this one. Um, because he has nearsighted, let's go with this one. Let's just go and accuse him straight away. Nope. So we're just going to, um... Take 
Mr. Wellington? What? Don't do that! You almost gave me a heart attack! Are these your glass? These are your glasses, aren't they? Ah! Where? Where did you find? I believe the court has all heard what you just confessed to. That these glasses are in fact yours. I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. <clears throat> under the victim's body? Oh, okay, I I'll move the camera a little bit further down. Uh, I should like this then. Order! Order! No, wait a second, hold on. I didn't con confess or confirm anything. Your Honor, I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, Justin grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and search frantically for them. What he didn't realize though, uh, was that they were under the victim's body. And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. I'm afraid I have no suggestions for you, Fix. Mr. Wright, are you? Are you indicating that the witness is the real murderer? Of course. That is precisely what I'm doing. So this one is good, though. This is the cornered song. It is good. I know I'm right. He is the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. It turns out his this cell phone was the key to this case after all. <laughs> anyway, now is our chance to, to six deep six this guy. I'll sink him in one shot. Yeah, this is exciting watching you work again. <laughs> Somehow my old self is coming back to me. Yeah, we're deep sixing him. Let's bury him six feet under. Uh, it's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Order! Order! Your Honor, the defense! The defense is making a mockery out of this court. Without any further the ground to stand on, he accuses the witness of being a murderer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I, I'm no criminal. This, this is third-rate fraud of a lawyer. In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear your explanation to why you are not the murderer. Why? That's that's easy. Um, um, for example, there's um the, the, the name the victim wrote. What about that? Oh, you you mean oh you mean the name Maggie? Yeah, even an idiot like you can read that, right? We already know this was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name was Maggie and the victim was left-handed. In other words, in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground. <laughs> Wouldn't that mean that the real criminal was someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would that person know her name was Ma Maggie? Uh, Maggie? That's a good point. The witness didn't even know Miss Bride before the pub this trial. I forgot. Hmm. Was there any way this creep could have known the, the Maggie's name beforehand? There is a way. It would be best if I could prove the witness had a chance to learn. The defendant's name was Maggie. Now will the defendant's defense please present its case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? Um... Mr. Wellington, you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why you... how did you... Your Honor! These questions have nothing to do with... Overruled! Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think that there is some relation between the witness, the cell phone, and the murder? I do, Your Honor. 
On the day of the murder, Maggie Bride picked up a lost cell phone in the park. And... She also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. Um, hello? We well, already done this, so let's get blast through this. I want to go on to the next case. It's so good. That was when you heard in, that her name was Maggie. Um... <laughs> but you made one fatal mistake. A fatal mistake? My client's name is Maggie. But the right name written on the ground is Maggie. This is a mistake that could only occur if you knew what her name sounded like. Order! Order! But, but your honor, the witness has no motive. And your point is? It's very simple, your honor. A person would usually not kill someone without reason. Mr. Wellington had no reason to kill anyone. That's absolutely correct. I have no motive. Hmm, Mr. Wright, your honor, can you explain what the, the motive this witness could have had? It's very simple, your honor. Are you sure, Nick? If I said I could mm, offer an explanation, the trial would be over, right? Yeah, but... Names list. Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the, uh, of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the, the people on this list are members of a certain group. You! You looked up all those numbers. Of course. This is a list. Uh, this list of phone numbers was stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to people whose members belong to a certain con artist group. What? Con artists? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? This is, this is an outrage, an invasive invasion of privacy. Looking at the phone numbers on a purpose phone is worse crime than murder. You, you're one of those people. You're just like the cops who... Yeah, let's just... Let him rant. <clears throat> I don't care, Mr. Wellington. All I want to, to uh, for you uh, is for you to tell us what this list is about. You think you, any of you, know what it's like to be a refined man such as me? Your Honor, this is, this is, this is unjustified badgering of the witness. Objection overruled. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Why would the witness have the numbers of a group of con artists on the phone? Isn't that obvious? The witness is a member of that group. Wizard Wellington is a member of this very group. Lesson 1 free or possibly uh, with a year 8 class, but who's on your way? Ah! <laughs> Study hour. All of your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these no phone numbers, it would be all over for you. This is why you had to kill. No! This this is too much! Ow. Hmm. That does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, could you care to explain? I... Um, I... <laughs> Got you now. I, I, that, I, I, that, that police officer. Your Honor, what is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, this, this is an unjustified battering of the witness. You said that exact thing was only a few seconds ago. P -p -p please, please, let's think about the content of that phone call. The defendant had already promised he would return the phone. After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Bride to get his phone back. Why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm, that is a valid point. What does the defense think about this? Hmm, 
If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Then maybe we should be thinking outside the box. Yeah, if we think like that, let's see. Maybe that slime ball saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm, well, I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick uh, 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 up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would he be unfriendly to the defendant? Seriously, I haven't like I haven't I'm like 13 chapters behind the uh, Morning Snarts, but why are they still doing that? Didn't like, didn't the Wizard just like try to settle that like a couple of days ago? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Well, then, Mr. Wright, what was this something that didn't agree with the witness? Uh, we can now present profiles, so... Oh. What Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. The, the victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had to go, uh, had gone on a date right after his ship was over. With no time to change, he went to the park, still in, in his police uniform. Oh! The girl that picked up my phone is with a policeman. He could let know that we're going out, so he better not to worry. <clears throat> Jeez. People really need to learn when to leave things be. I think I managed to mess up my this camera a little bit, but I will. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If anything suspi look suspicious, if I do anything suspicious, he might run to check my phone. In his mind, it's possible I had already run a check on the phone. And then he went in a panic, is that what you're saying? Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. <laughs> uh, Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, I'm thinking. It seems the truth has come out at last. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are... <laughs> Impressive. Not bad for a person with a third rate education. What's that supposed to mean? The evidence? Evidence? Uh, that guy is really creeping me out. All you've been doing is waving around and talking about that suspicious telephone. Suspicious phone number this, suspicious com group that, that are all on my phone. But who's to say that phone is really mine? Where's your proof, your evidence? <laughs> you want to uh, prove that this phone is yours? <laughs> I already told you earlier, that phone I lost, I've already found it. You don't even have the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to. You you can't be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton. What? <laughs> it feels good to see you squirm. Hmm. We seem to have quite a problem on our hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it is meaningless as evidence. Y your Honor, this is bad. I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Hmm. The cell phone? There has to be something I overlooked. There has to be. Hmm, maybe. I got it! We should check for fingerprints. Fingerprints? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on this phone. Nick, don't you remember? When you got that from Maggie, you wiped it off. I what? You said there was sand all over it, so... Wiped it? I wiped it? Pretty thoroughly, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so much fun watching thorough trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Uh, it's been a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see. Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the phones, the numbers stored on this phone. 